Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, what is the most important thing to remember when you are pursuing a front-end developer job? So let's get into it. Well, the most important thing I would say is that you... Well, basically you have to let go of the misconception that a lot of front well, front-end people have today, which is the idea that what you do is down to your definition. You see, front-end development today is not just about UI development. It is a much broader term than that. The thing is that there is quite a few and a lot of, uh, quite a lot of people who contact me as well who identify themselves as front-end developers and all they actually know is JavaScript, CSS and HTML. That's it. And there are people out there and I see them on the comment section and I really, really dislike it when they go out and say things like, oh, you only need to know React script and you don't need to know NPM. And blah, blah, bullshit, guys. It's fucking bullshit. Which the people who are contacting me are realizing. It's the thing that people are... I'm sorry. It's just very frustrating to have a bunch of people who tell you that I, they, they basically express an opinion that at best is going to make you illegible to work in like a p design firm or some small agency or something like that. Guys, working as a front-end developer today does not just mean that you work at, with UI and design. In actuality, what it means is that most companies define you as a master of everything that is JavaScript everything, which also includes Node, which includes backend development. So the most important thing for you as a front-end developer is to have the mindset that your focus should be that you are good at coding. That is the focus of a front-end developer. It is, you are not a designer. You will never be a designer as a front-end developer. If you become a web designer, something like that, absolutely. But a front-end developer for the vast majority of the world in IT at least, define a front-end developer as a programmer who understands SBA frameworks, who has a flair or a working understanding of design practices. You are, your job is not to, do the, to make the designs, your job is not to do research and market research and user testing, all of this stuff. That's not your job. Very, or rather, it's very rare that that is your job. That is what you hire a designer to do. And most companies have a dedicated design person of some sort to do this. Or A-B testing, all of that stuff. Like, this is their focus. But the front-end developer, your focus is to actually write code. In other words, you should, if you want to make yourself really, really attractive on the job market, number one is to actually learn all the tools because that's the biggest, honest to God, that's the biggest challenge of front-end today. The biggest challenge is to master the vast range of tools that are out there. If you think that you're going to get by on jQuery or a little bit of React and no server-side understanding, of stuff, it's very unlikely that you will. It's extremely likely, unlikely you will have to learn quite a lot of stuff in order to be attractive on the job market. So that is where you should focus your attention because trust me when I say this, if you think that your, your understanding of good design is the thing that's going to get you the job, then you are mistaken. I'm sorry, but you are mistaken. At least from every single front-end developer I know and my personal experience, I can tell you that you will not get, that's not the thing that they're going to test you on. Your code test will not be spot the flaw in this design or design this thing. It's going to be, can you build this thing using software or using code? And the technical questions will not include design questions. They will include questions re related to programming. It's all going to be programming. So that is where, where your focus should be. Nowhere else. And that might suck for the people out there who, who want to do the UI work, but then I can only tell you that then you should be a designer. Or like a designer who knows some code. There are agencies to hire people like that as well for smaller projects, but front-end developers, like the entire profession came into existence, or rather it looks the way it looks today, due to the adoption of SBA frameworks and the increased complexity that has come into web development in recent time. So what I want you to take away from this is that 
if you only focus on one thing, the most important thing to focus on to get a front-end position is to get really good at coding. In other words, you should in essence learn all the things that most back-end developers learn. You don't have to be a master of the back-end. It's just that you actually have to know how to write proper software. And on top of that, you're going to have to learn a very wide range of tools because Frontend is a very, very wide ecosystem at this point. And this is one of the reasons why I argue that it might actually, for a lot of people, for some people, it might actually be a little bit easier to get the first job as a backend developer or to get into backend development and learn that than it is to go into Frontend. I'm not saying that Frontend is like harder than backend. It's more about the way, of the, the lay of the land today. It's a very volatile ecosystem and it's a fairly significant personal investment to get good at front-end development today. That is why most companies are looking for front-end developers, not just any person. They're looking for senior developers who really know their stuff because there's almost nobody around. So just think about this before you get into this idea that front-end is just about design and UI and things of this nature because it's not. For a front-end developer, it is very much about software development. Have a great day.